Today is the 6th of January, and as you can all see, I've still got my lights up. This year, I'm thinking of keeping mine up till Candlemas, actually. I think we need it, uh, given the season we're in. But the 6th of January is even more important than that, because today is Epiphany, the celebration of the Magi coming to see Jesus, bringing their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And so we've put together a little collection of some carols and some readings for Epiphany for you. Happy Epiphany, everyone. Hope you're all safe. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Journey of the Magi by T.S. Eliot A cold coming we had of it, just the worst time of the year for a journey, and such a long journey. The ways deep and the weather sharp, the very dead of winter. And the camels galled, sore-footed, refractory, lying down in the melted snow. 
There were times we regretted the summer palaces on the slopes, the terraces, and the silken girls bringing sherbet. Then the camel men cursing and grumbling and running away and wanting their liquor and women, and the night fires going out and the lack of shelters, and the cities hostile and the towns unfriendly and the villages dirty and charging high prices. A hard time we had of it. At the end, we preferred to travel all night, sleeping in snatches, with the voices singing in our ears, saying that this was all folly. Then, at dawn, we came down to a temperate valley, wet below the snow line, smelling of vegetation, with a running stream and a water mill beating the darkness, and three trees on the low sky, and an old white horse galloped away in the meadow. Then we came to a tavern with vine leaves over the lintel, six hands at an open door dicing for pieces of silver, and feet kicking the empty wineskins. But there was no information, and so we continued, and arrived at evening, not a moment too soon, finding the place. It was, you may say, satisfactory. All this was a long time ago, I remember, and I would do it again, but set down this, set down this. We were led all that way for birth or death. There was a birth, certainly. We had evidence and no doubt. I had seen birth and death, and had thought that they were different. This birth was hard and bitter agony for us, like death, our death. We returned to our places, these kingdoms, but no longer at ease here in the old dispensation, with an alien people clutching their gods. I should be glad of another death.
and then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. <laughs> 